Today, we're going to talk about how to manage dual SIM on your Samsung Galaxy S25, Ultra, or Plus so that you can switch between SIMs for text, mobile data, calls, call forwarding, and more. And if you're rocking a physical and eSIMs bolt, this guide will help you out. Now for that, let's open up settings on our device from there to connections and to SIM manager. Now, first of all, in here, you will see the list of all the SIMs, physical or eSIM, whatever you have enabled on your device. But please make sure at the same time, only two SIMs will turn on. If you scroll down, you can see you can add more eSIMs in here as well. Now, under that, from calls, you can select which of these two SIMs will be used for a call. You can also select Ask Always and interchange between your SIMs while calling. You can select your preferred SIM for messages and for mobile data as well. You can also turn it off from here. Now, if you're low on data or out of network on one SIM, for that situation, it can turn on data switching, so you're never disconnected from your mobile data. In more SIM settings, to dual SIM always on, the first option, you can turn on this option if you want both of your SIMs to be enabled all the time. If you just talk in here like my device, just force quit this section and re-enter. You'll see it's turned on. When it's on, call forwarding from your one to another SIM will automatically turn on. Otherwise, if you want to select another number for call forwarding in another device, you can turn it off first and then enter your phone number in here. Also, you can select how or when to forward your calls. Press done when you're done and let's go back to the more SIM settings. In SIM card security, you can lock your SIM by their associated PIN number. That's all I know about this. In lock eSIM settings, you can select all these three options so that you won't accidentally delete or add any eSIMs in your device. You can lock these settings with your screen lock, finger, or face ID, whatever is enabled. And lastly, in remove all eSIMs, please be careful about that, you can remove all your eSIMs at once. Now if you go back to your SIM manager's main settings, from here, you can uh, enable another number if you have three SIMs enabled like us and disable the previous one. And while enabling SIM, you will get all these calls, messages, or mobile data options that we have already shown you in these settings. You can also enable just one SIM and turn off all the SIMs right from here whenever you need. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.